so this is the uh, trainer. This is the D2 version. Um, good snap out. This goes all the way across. Won't close on you. It's good. One of the differences between most uh, folders and this one is this bevel right here. It flares out, so when it's in your pocket, you can grab that better and pull that directly out. Some of the key features that we changed was that triangle is now taller, so as this clears over the top, it will not catch uh, on that lip right there. Uh, before, on the prototype, this part was uh, taller than the triangle and we would lose grip here. So I really like that, that's good. Uh, the triangle here, this, this little point, actually creates more stability for the blade because now there's more surface area there. So that's really good. Uh, we also took the clip and we lowered it. So this was uh, jetted out like a little bit more so it would catch sometimes on your shirt. And so now that it is a lower profile, it's actually um, a lot better. So uh, really solid trainer, uh, probably one of the higher quality ones I've ever seen. Um, let's see what we got here. Ah, so this is the titanium uh, live blade. So that rolls out pretty quickly. That goes across, that snaps directly in. So this is a D2 uh, blade, but it is titanium, um, I think, uh, scales uh, and lower and everything else. So uh, it feels like the clip is the exact same material, um, but it is really light, especially in comparison to the D2 trainer here. So that's a good snap out. Um, and then that's there. Yeah, a little bit more pressure that will go across all the time. So um, I don't really have a, yeah. So that's the, if it was in your pocket, it would just catch and roll out there. So I like that, real thin, easy to move that directly around. Um, three fingers works out well. Yeah, good uh, thumb ramp, good punch. Grip that pretty easily. Uh, that sits in my palm really well. Even the uh, glass breaker, because it has been uh, reduced in size. So this kind of poked out a lot more before, um, but now it sits in my palm really well. And so you'd be able to hit that and there's actually not gonna be any pain uh, to your hand. Um, I know that's something that a lot of people we're concerned about with the actual MDB. So that's a, I like it. So that's titanium. Uh, over across the way here, uh, let's grab these two. This uh, is the all D2. So the uh, handle scales, the uh, clip. The difference between the titanium and this D2 one is the fact that this just feels super, super solid. The other one just feels really light. Um, it's not that the titanium one would probably be less durable. It's just the the weight in your hand. This is hefty. It feels uh, like a normal folder, All right? So um, still snaps out really, really well. And that goes across. Um, yeah, that's not gonna close on you. So uh, one of the things I learned as I was messing with these is this has a detent in it, so it holds it in place. But if you make sure that all pressure is off of this, when you try to do that, it will open very, very uh, nicely. If you clamp on that, it's not gonna open because obviously I'm pushing into the uh, detent position. So that's just a, uh, I guess a pro tip, I guess. Um, but yeah, this really like the black version of that. That's real hefty. So really impressed with the build quality. 
of the MDV folder. One is obviously black, the other one's silver. Other than that, the blades are basically the same. So just choose whether or not you're gonna want uh, a heavier folder, one that you are gonna nose in your pocket, uh, or one that is lighter. So obviously that just depends. Are you wearing a suit? Are you wearing uh, jeans? Um, do you even care? Because obviously there's a price difference on that. So uh, you can grab these now on skylywagtactical.com. Uh, I'm very happy that uh, we finally got to this stage where everybody can get them into your hands. So, all right, so the other one, uh, the ridiculous thing, is this meat cleaver <sighs> yeah if you want to chop uh, arms off of things uh, you can sacrifice your entire pocket to carry this thing this is a normal sized clip and this is not a normal sized folder um this thing is so heavy that you don't even have to do anything just start it and it will open up for you um so interesting blood groove thing right here um yeah anyways so that is a lot of d2 right there so yeah uh these are the uh razor folders and i believe they are online on scallywagtactical.com the d2s are actually available there is a titanium version so the uh, scales are titanium. I'm sure it is a lot lighter than this thing, but it is still a beast. So for those of you with um, giant extra large hands, uh, that will be the folder that I would suggest for you. And so uh, if you want a sword in your pocket, then that is the folder to grab. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks for watching. So the idea was that we would do an unboxing of the MDV folder, but the good idea fairy, formerly known as my wife, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, formerly, formerly known yeah. as my wife, uh, decided that this should be a Christmassy event and well, this is what we get. All right, so what we're gonna do is open this up and show the MDV. Holy goodness. <laughs> I don't know if this is big enough for my hand. <laughs> that thing's ridiculous. That thing's, it weighs like five pounds. <laughs> this is a normal clip size. <laughs> Jesus. Grab yours at scallywagtactical.com. They're available now. From our scallywag family to your scallywag family, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and God bless us, everyone. <laughs>